Young's double slit experiment. So Young's double slit experiment is a proof that light behaves like a wave. Okay, light behaves like a wave. And how does it form interference? Because when we light behaves like a wave, and when there are two sources, light from one source and light from the other source interfere with each other through the principle called superposition and in that place if you keep a screen there will be alternating bright dark bright dark fringes will be formed on the screen and this pattern formed on the screen is called interference pattern interference pattern so that interference pattern from two sources so regardless of what the two sources are there will be interference pattern if wavelength of this source and wavelength of this source are different the interference pattern on the screen is not stable it's not stable so to produce an interference pattern that is fixed on the screen uh, what you need to have is wavelength of the first source and wavelength of the second source must be equal so when two wavelengths are equal we call monochromatic means single color monochromatic so to produce a sustained interfer interference pattern that is a constant interference pattern not changing on the screen these two sources must be having the same wavelength and regarding the phase they should have either zero phase difference or constant phase difference zero phase or constant phase difference so the two sources that ticks these two criteria are called coherent sources coherent sources so these two coherent sources light from a pair of coherent sources form a sustained interference pattern on the screen uh, a coherent source is the characteristic they both must be having the same wavelength that means monocolor single color so monochromatic they move they both must be having either uh, i mean between one wave and the other wave there should be either zero phase difference zero phase difference means if one wave start like this the other wave also exactly starts like this so this is called like zero phase difference a constant phase difference suppose if one wave starts here the other wave starts suppose right here so in that case half of the wavelength ahead of the other wave this wave is half of the wavelength ahead of the second wave okay in that case the phase difference is equal to pi radian so what is the relation between uh, phase difference and path difference you know one full wave one full wave has an angle of 180 degree i mean 360 degree or 2 pi radians whatever the distance in between suppose some distance x you are not sure means we are going to do like this for a wavelength of lambda i mean the distance of lambda phase difference is 2 pi radian for a distance of x you don't know the phase difference that is phi so that means lambda equal to some constant into 2 pi and x is equal to some constant into phi when you divide these two equations you get what x by lambda equal to 2 pi by phi then using this relation phi is equal to 2 pi by lambda i mean a small change here just a minute hmm. when you actually divide these two you get something else so lambda by x is equal to 2 pi by phi so this is the thing so phi equal to 2 pi by lambda into x 2 pi by I equal to pi by lambda into x if you know the path i mean this is path difference if path difference is given in lambda and phase difference will be obtained in radians see for example a path difference we just said no suppose if one wave 
is like this the other wave starts like this so you know that this is 0 this is 90 degree so this is a sine wave you forget about this part this is a cosine wave the angle between sine and cosine wave is 90 degree we know that so the path difference is lambda by 4 so lambda by 4 because 1 2 3 4 so it is lambda by 4 in that case if you substitute it here phi equal to 2 pi by lambda into lambda by 4 you are cancelling it so that means 2 pi by 4 so which means pi by 2 radians so this is how we find phase difference or path difference or if you can also find x the path difference x is equal to using this relation lambda by 2 pi into phi if phi phase difference is equal to let's say pi radian so what is the path difference so lambda by 2 pi into pi radian so the corresponding path difference will be lambda by 2 so we can find phase difference path difference using this relation so at least two three questions have been asked in the past years so try to remember these two one in the next or in the following video we'll be discussing about the interference pattern or Young's double slit pattern